so now let's have a look at what happens technically when you create an outbound delivery either in the delivery due list or via VL01. The first thing that the system does is that it checks the index table this VEPVG yeah? when it runs the delivery due list it actually checks uh, to see that the entry it actually reads that table and presents that, that table to you. If you were to create via VL01 it would actually read from that table to do all the copy rules. Yeah? So that is why sometimes if you think that oh this delivery is not there or it's not being selected by the delivery due list do a quick search in the table VEPVG it's the index table um, and see if your delivery is in that table if the delivery is in that table then your selection was wrong if the delivery is not in that table then there is something there is a rule that's stopping SAP saying that that sales order is now relevant for delivery yeah so that's a uh, that's a tip for you so a tip here if you ever have to write any custom code that determines open orders or something like that read the index table rather than looking at VBAK and VBAP it's much faster and the index table already has all of the logic pre-built in so you don't have to have anything else if it's in that table it can be delivered it's as simple as that okay so once you've created on you started the delivery creation the system will then start the copy control rules we'll have a look at that in another lecture but in the copy control rules it has a document type and the item category so it de determines the document type by the sales order it looks at the configuration for the delivery type we saw that and the item category is the same so it will take that item category that's in the sales order it will just copy that across into the delivery if the item is determined then it will look at the table T184L to determine what the item category is when we say a new item is determined it means that if for example there was a bomb explosion or it had to redetermine an item or for example packaging material it had to put a new item there then yes it would it's a new item it's not in the sales order it's in the delivery and the system then needs to determine the item category and it does that by reading the table T184L as the logic is very similar to the sales order item determination um, it reads that table determines the item category for that delivery and it puts it in there the system will then copy all of the reference data from the original document into the delivery for example it could copy the partner function um, the milestone data or in most cases it would c the most important is it would copy the enterprise structure and when we say enterprise structure we mean items like the plant or more importantly the shipping point and as we noted before if in the document we have more than we have two different shipping points then we'll actually have a split ie we'll have two deliveries if configured SAP will also redetermine some values like the picking and loading dates uh, the routes or the materials uh, the quantity of materials to be shipped i.e. it would rerun availability again and finally it would also update all of the tables for example it would update the document flow table BBFA and it would say this sales order has created uh, this delivery now this is not an exhaustive list of everything that happens it's just a list of everything that's important for people to know about okay we've seen the PowerPoint presentation let's have a look and see how it's done properly in SAP you see here we have the VL 10 uh, a screen the delivery due list and you can see that the shipping point here is 2400 
and what I'm going to do is I'm going to execute the transaction and as you can see I have two documents sales orders here don't worry about the red because it's it's in the past but as you can see here totally all of these orders here come from the sales orders yeah, so the sales orders here are providing what we call the demand in the delivery deal list now if I were to go to the table um, here's the tape the index table that we've seen I put in the shipping point 2400 and I execute you can see here also you can see the two sales orders that are in the index table obviously there's a little bit more here for the selection you have the sold to the ship to the sales organization the weight things that are actually in the selection screen in the VL10 so you can see here there's a correspondence of the entries in this table and the output in the VL10 screen so if we now go to the config let me go to SPRO and I go to IMG logistics execution shipping deliveries define item category determine determination in deliveries and you can see here it's like the sales order you have the delivery type here the item usage you have the item category and the item category that's a manual like the sales order it's similar so if we were to go back and now finally let's have a look at the table VBFA this is the document flow table so let me put it in here VBFA oops let me just try that again VBFA execute and here you can see the preceding document which is the document before and the sequential document which is the document after and basically what it means is for example from a sales order you then would create a delivery so the preceding document will be the sales order and the sequential document is the delivery and if you in the functionality remember we talked about you had the document flow in the sales order that when you clicked would show the sales orders the deliveries linked to the sales orders the invoices linked to the sales orders or the invoices linked to the deliveries and this is the table that holds all of that information so if we were to open the category here you can see here it has all of the different types I'm going to choose J for delivery and the preceding document category I'm going to say C and I'm going to execute and what's going to sh what it's going to show me is all of the sales orders and the deliveries that were created after and you can see here the sales orders and the delivery numbers that are linked to it you see the quantities here as well and you will notice then all the other details what's important to note is all of this is on item level so each sales order item has a corresponding delivery item or in invoice item and so forth so finally why is this VBFA table important this table is quite important to use because it holds all of the it groups all of the documents together so from a sales order you can find all the corresponding or follow-on deliveries from a sales order you can find all the invoices or if you had an invoice number you could find the corresponding sales order so this is great when you are designing a report yeah, um, and it's good to say okay for this sales orders find me all of the deliveries or from this deliveries find me all of the sales orders and all of the invoices it's the fast way to look what we call up and down the process flow to find all of the corresponding documents so to summarize when we create a delivery um, in the delivery due list it actually looks at the index table to make sure that the sales order is present in there so that it can validate that it's a proper demand that can be created into delivery it looks at the item configuration table uh, it looks at the configuration it looks at the copy control and after it creates the delivery it updates the index table and also 
all other tables there's quite a lot of uh, delivery tables that it needs to update but the VBFA is the important one because it's it's quite a popular table to use so we've now looked under the hood to see how SAP technically creates the delivery we've seen what it does and we've seen the use of the index table so now let's move on and watch the next video